Welcome to a lesson on angle bisectors. The goals of the video are to define and determine an angle bisector. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. In this diagram here, if we look at the angle formed by the two black rays, the blue ray would be the angle bisector because it divides the black angle into two congruent angles. So the blue ray is the angle bisector. Angle one and angle two would be congruent angles which remember means they would be equal in measure. And every angle has exactly one angle bisector. So we could sketch another ray that would divide the black angle into two different angles, but this blue ray, the angle bisector, is the only ray that would make angle one and angle two congruent angles. And remember, since angle one and angle two are congruent, we can mark them as being equal in measure by using arcs. So if we label angle one with one arc and label two with one arc, we know those two angles would be equal in measure. Now given an angle, let's talk about how we can construct an angle bisector. And this will require a compass. So the first thing we can do is put the point on the compass at the vertex of the angle, and we either construct a circle or at least swing an arc that intersects both rays of the angle. So something like this. And now taking the compass, we're gonna put the point at the intersection of this arc and one of the rays, and either construct another circle or swing another arc that would pass through where you think the angle bisector would be. So we'd have to swing an arc that would be at least from here to here or something similar to that. And then we take the point of the compass and put it on the intersection of this red arc and the other ray and do the same thing, swing an arc that passes through where we think the angle bisector would be. And that would look something like this. So the ray starting at the vertex of the angle and passing through the intersection of these two blue arcs would be the angle bisector. And it's pictured here in green. So this green ray would be our angle bisector. So if we call this angle three and call this angle four, angle three and angle four are congruent. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching.